crude oil WTI has given a gap up opening and still trading moderately bullish at the same time NG is trying to trade bearish taking the support at 6.68. Now what can be expected today for these two whether we should remain in a long position or whether we should sell and if yes we do which position you should take at what levels we will try to see with the help of charts and indicators. Missing on to subscribe this channel is missing on the profits. Do not commit this mistake. Do like, share, subscribe and comment and do press the bell icon. First we will look into oil WTI followed with NG. Do watch till the end. Do listen to it carefully. Do note down the levels. Let's start. On the early charts you can find 81 is the support which it has taken. At the same time it is getting the resistance now at 81.8. Now look lower highs. So be careful there at 81.8 levels only and only if oil trades above 81.8 today you can buy there and then you can expect that we are looking forward to a bear, bullish move else it can reverse any point of time. So do not trade between 81 and 81.8 very very clear there. Directional movement moderately bullish. Stochastic is overbought. It is crossing over possibly for a sell position. The MACD is divergent and bullish. This is just three candles apart. We can look forward to further more bullishness. RSI is trading flat. And if you look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts, clearly you can see that there is a strong resistance zone at 81 and 80 point. 8 levels if it breaks these two certainly it will call for a more bearish move then you can expect 80 dollar levels to be the on the cards rather I see 80.15 and then below that you can expect it to come back till towards 79.2 very strong support below that it is going to crash heavily now look on the two hour charts as I said it is still on the bearish side lower highs are seen lower highs means it is still not to be considered as bullish it can break any point of time it is trading in a bearish shape. So yes, if you see it trading above 81.8, you can certainly buy there and expect it to rise from there till towards 82. First target 82.5, next target and beyond that it will fly. Till the time it trades below 81.8, do not buy. And at the same time, till the time, till it trades above 81, do not sell. So both confirmed from the levels confirmed from both the charts 1 hour and 2 hour directional movement bullish stochastic is overbought the MACD is on the verge of a crossover for a bullish move it is still on the sell RSI trading flat and if you look at the 3 hour charts the story is same on the 3 hour charts but look at this it is giving you a red candle here at the same time it is also giving you higher lows so once it breaches past 81 in the next candle, certainly you can take a sell position 80.5, 80.8, 80.5, 80.15. .80. If it breaks 80, certainly you can look forward to 79.2 levels and then 78 cannot be denied. Directional movement moderately bullish. Stochastic is on the verge of a bullish cross. RSI looking downwards and the observation remains same. Here on the daily charts, the directional movement is moderately bullish, stochastic taking a bounce from the bottom, the MACD is in green, the RSI is looking downwards and if you look at the daily charts, see on the daily charts one must observe it is aligned here, indicates possibly we have seen the highs and it may try to reverse from here again and then achieve lower lows possibility exists the 79 78 levels can be seen there now look at the directional movement moderately bearish stochastic is at high the macd has crossed over so this is one observation we should we should be cautious of macd has just crossed over and it can sustain this in the bullish zone rsi is looking upwards considering this for the day buy oil only above 81.8 Sell oil below 80.8. For this $1, do not trade. For this $1, do not trade. That is 80.8 to 81.8. In fact, on the downside, it is it has got the support at 80.4, 80.15 and 80 levels. Very nearby support. And below that, we may see 79.5 levels and 79.2 levels. And then 78 can be expected. So, 
take your positions accordingly do not trade between 80.8 and 81.8 above and below take a buy or sell position if it breaks past 81.8 certainly we may look at 82.1 and then it will fly for 82.5 83.5 and 84 levels take your trades accordingly trade with a caution trade with a restrict stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss remember here is the stronger resistance at 83 if it breaks past this certainly it will call for a stronger bullish and yes if you want to learn this art of trading profitably taking right entries and right and entry exits at the right time you can join my mentorship batch the strategy is taught will definitely help you become a profitable and proficient trader and also you can join my signals group if you want to trade profitably my telegram id my gmail id both are mentioned in the channel and video description and you can reach out to me for your queries related to joining my mentorship batch or joining my signals group also you can become a patron and support the effort the patron site link is also mentioned in the channel and video description now look at ng ng on the hourly charts appears to have given a bearish move but at the same time it is taking the support at 6.7 with the support at 6.7 it is trying to rise at the same time one must not forget that 6.8 is a good resistance so in between 6.7 and 6.8 one should not take any trade look at the early charts see it has broken this support at 6.8 which has a very strong support and now trying to trade bearish yes if you see it trading below 6.7 again you can remain short on ng then you can expect 6.6 .6 as a very very strong support trading below 6.6 .6, certainly it will call for more bearishness at the same time again if it tries to trade above 6.8 you can expect 6.85 6.9 6.9 is the ultimate resistance which it needs to pass by for trading in a bullish zone the directional movement is bearish the stock stick is oversold and if you look at the MACD this is divergent and bearish here if you look at the stock RSI this is hit a bottom here trying to sustain the levels there now look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts see rise lows lower lows lower highs higher lows lower highs higher lows so it means it is trying to consolidate in this zone hence you have to be cautious here now in fact till seven dollar levels on the upside that is the high which it may try to see now this is the resistance so it appears 6.7 to $7 levels are something which is going to be a great great no trade zone but at the same time once it trades below 6.7 certainly it will call for more bearishness you can wait for 6.6 .6, the next support and then it will try to give you a stronger breakout see it is skewed on the downside on the downside 6.6 .6 now is a good support and below that we may see it dropping more the directional movement is bearish stock stick is oversold the MACD is again trading bearish it is divergent and we may see more bearishness RSI is looking downwards and if you look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour charts clearly it is taken a breakout this is a breakout candle and possibly it is going to remain bearish till the time it trades below 6.8 we can see the next target at 6.6 .6, which is a very strong support breaking 6.6 .6, yes it may try to hit 6.4 so this is the channel which it is trying to look at with the stop loss at 6.8 certainly we can remain short but rather do not take any trade between 6.7 and 6.8 level the directional movement is bearish the stock stick is looking downwards the MACD has just crossed over this is divergent this is bearish RSI is looking downwards and on the 4 hour charts too if you look closely on the 4 hour charts clearly you can see it is taken a breakout it is given a breakout yes you can remain short on ng till the time it trades below 6.8 certainly my target is 6.6 6.55 and then in fact 6.4 levels it might try to see today itself the directional movement is bearish the stock stick has hit a bottom the MACD has crossed over and this is towards the sell side the RSI is looking downwards and on the daily charts you may find that also on the daily chart this is a breakout here and then this candle can be strong enough be cautious 
sell at 6.7 buy only above 6.8 and then in fact if it even if it tries to rise above 6.8 expect 6.85 6.9 to seven dollar levels as a stronger resistance beyond seven only we can see little more bullishness here sell at 6.8 expect 6. Uh, you can say 6.7 you can sell and then expect 6.6 .6 levels as a very strong support and below that we may be looking at 6.55 and in fact today itself it is going to hit 6.4 levels trade with caution trade with a stop loss trade with a trailing stop loss yes you can remain short on ng today till the time it trades below 6.8 expect 6.6 .6 and 6.4 levels so take your trades accordingly Take your positions accordingly, trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.